Well, our baby Tamworth pigs were born this week and so we have been anxiously awaiting their arrival and we were so excited whenever we walked out there. Dave um, went out there to set up some fly traps around the pig pens and he noticed that Lola had had two of her baby pigs and so we are so excited to finally get to share her birth video with you all this week. When we first got our Tamworth pigs, I think we got them back in February or March and we thought that they were going to be farrowing in April or May, but it ends up that they weren't actually pregnant at that time and so we ended up getting a boar and breeding both of our um, uh, girls and they were bred by our boar and his name is Shameless and he's also a Tamworth and so um, they take uh, their gestation time is three months three weeks and three days and so going off of the time that we knew that Lola had been bred we were expecting her to have her babies um, anytime this week we knew that it was within a few days and so we weren't expecting it exactly on Tuesday we were actually thinking it would be probably Wednesday or Thursday based off of when she was bred. So she was like one day a little bit sooner than we thought. But this is actually her first litter of baby pigs and she has done such a great job taking care of them. She had eight pigs all together, but three of them sadly um, passed away. And so she has five thriving and healthy baby piglets and they are so, so sweet and adorable. And so I can't wait to show you all all of the awesome footage that we were able to get and um, that way we can share this experience with you all. So she actually um, started to go into labor. It was about 12, 1 o'clock whenever we got back from running our errands and Dave walked out to the pig pens to set up the fly traps and he noticed that Lola had already had two of her baby pigs. And so she had already um, started to give birth and had kind of made a little nest area with her hay. And we had just taken two big bales of hay out there that morning and put out for her so that she could prepare a nest because we knew that it would be any day. Um, and so we knew that it would be any day and she needed to have that ready. So so it happened very very quickly we had went out there checked on her that morning she was fine i really didn't we weren't expecting her to actually labor that day because she was eating and we had thought that she wouldn't eat if she was going to go into labor that day but she was eating and drinking and moving around and everything and she really just didn't i didn't see the signs of it but it happened very quickly it was within just a few hours after we had went to check on her that she had started labor and had two of her baby piglets and so I was mostly excited about the fact that it happened during the day and not at night because I was more concerned that what it would happen at night and we would miss the whole process and so this is actually the first time that we've ever had an animal on our farm have babies and so we really wanted to have that experience and share that experience with her and with our kids and so I was so happy that we were able to go get the kids from school and then they were able to come back and see the baby piglets. And so they got to have the whole experience as well. And so it was so exciting too because I knew that I wanted to be able to get all of it on camera to share with you all as well. And so it worked out really, really nicely and it's been super hot here in Kentucky. So we've been hosing her down with water and it was really hot the day that she gave birth, but um, but it was a little, you know, it's either too hot or too cold. So thankfully it wasn't too cold because that would have been hard on the baby pigs. But um, she's doing really well. Like I said, she had eight pigs and five of them um, survived. And so they're running around and tramping around all over the pig pen. And it's so funny to watch them. And so I can't wait um, to see how they grow over the next few weeks. What really surprised me about the baby pigs is that they come out moving and maneuvering around all over the place. Um, they're very squirmy and they knew exactly what to do. I just think it's it's really neat um, to watch a birth happen um, because it's such a natural experience and obviously 
were not trained vets or anything like that so this all happened she did everything and took care of everything herself and so she even had the placenta later on and then i believe that she she ate the placenta as well i wasn't out there at that time dave was out there um after she had passed had passed her placenta and so um and then he got back online and started reading about how that they can have two placentas i think and so um <clears throat> it was just really really neat to watch the whole birthing process and the whole experience and so it was it was definitely a learning experience for us because like i said this is the first time that our pigs have had piglets and this was also lola's first time having this is her first litter ever um so she's actually a little bit over a year old now and so rosie our larger tamworth pig she has actually um had already had litters and so we're expecting to get quite a few more piglets from her than we did from lola because where lola was a we were pretty much after lola had had like her sixth piglet we really thought she wouldn't have any more but like we said she ended up having eight total um and so i'm really not sure rosie is way bigger than lola is and she's just a much larger pig and so i think she could have like you know anywhere between 10 and 14 pigs we really don't know but just like with lola you're you're never really sure how how many of them will survive or if there will be any complications with them and so um we did go ahead and clip the ears and so as lola was in labor me and dave were out there and we already had their not the notches notchers ready and so we just grabbed them up and notched their ears very quickly and honestly lola i think she's just really used to us where we've been going out there and feeding her every day and petting her and being in her pen and cleaning it out and just taking care of her needs i don't think that she sees us as a threat to her or her piglets and so she is a very good temperament she hasn't been aggressive towards us at all um and she's she's not a very large tamworth pig so i didn't feel fearful at all in the pen with her we sat in the pen pretty much the whole time she was right after she had gave birth but with rosie where she's a larger pig and she's been she's had litters before and she's a little bit more skittish so i'm not sure how it'll go i'm hoping that she lets us handle her pigs and that the whole notching process for their ears goes smoothly because it went really smoothly with lola's pig so far um and so me and dave have been talking about castrating we haven't done that yet um but it's something that we've talked about with the um with the boar pigs and so i don't really know we do have the gilts um or the girl pigs um we have someone already interested in purchasing those and so all any that we have will go to that person because they've already spoken for them so we're not sure however many um there were two girls and three boys with lola's litter we're not sure what we will get with Ro with rosie's litter so we we're still um discussing what we want to do if we want to make more pins and breed more pigs and things like that so that is just something that we'll have to um keep discussing and researching and figuring out for the future i hope so much that you all enjoy getting to watch lola have her sweet baby piglets just as much as we did it was such a fun experience and i'm so glad that we were able to capture it all on camera thank you all so much for watching we're so happy to have you and we'd love for you to like and subscribe to our channel um, have a wonderful, wonderful day and a great weekend.